Hey everybody, this is Mark Smith, host of Digital Roughnecks, and I'm here with my special guest, John Chappelle, who is the Director of Business Development uh, for Energy for Block Apps, a special SaaS company. And welcome, John. Uh, thank you, Mark. Good to be here. Yeah, so I uh, heard about Block Apps. A few episodes ago, I, I interviewed Raquel Clement, who is the sort of co-founder of the Blockchain for Energy Consortium. And it's made up of about 10 key producers in there who are trying to solve real operational problems with blockchain. Anyway, there was a conference a few weeks ago, Blockchain for Energy, and one of the people speaking and talking about a brand new project called Trace Carbon was Block App. So I'm really excited to have it here. I feel almost like this is the second debut of Trace Carbon. So John, thanks for giving us all a sneak peek of what Trace Carbon is all about. No, happy to do it. Let me uh, share my screen here and uh, kind of uh, just kind of talk you guys uh, through what's going on. But no, we're real excited. We officially launched it uh, oh, two weeks ago now. Uh, but really, Trace Carbon is uh, the product of uh, a year or more's worth of conversations with the oil and gas companies. We've done a couple of CO2 projects 12, 18 months ago. And just very interestingly, as I was talking to different uh, folks in our market, when I got to that slide talking about what we had done, everybody started saying, whoa, John, stop. Tell me more. We, we need help with our emissions track and we need to figure out how to really uh, get around that. And uh, that's kind of how Trace Carbon was born. It's built upon a lot of our other successful uh, production projects, uh, many of them in the agricultural space, but you know, the blockchain doesn't care what you're measuring. And so we were able to leverage those building blocks and really put together Trace Carbon. And really, it's really designed to be a network that allows you to track with an immutable blockchain and then be able to share in near real time, the emissions data that you need to share with, with other parties. So when you're talking about the problem of this, like in ESG, right, the, the environmental part of the E and the S and G, that, that has this whole thing where it's saying, hey, not only do you need to trace this, your own source, your own emissions, but even further down the supply chain. No, that's, that's absolutely correct, is that you know, you're not only responsible for the things that you do directly, but uh, according to the greenhouse gas protocol, you're responsible for whatever emissions are associated with all the energy you buy, your utilities, as well as any partner you have, subcontractors, vendors, all those things, both upstream of your business as well as downstream. That, and that is what has to come together to create your overall carbon footprint. So how would um, a third party kind of work with you? Like, let's say, I'll just wear my other hat, Clean Connect, right? So we're doing monitoring and measuring of methane intensity on upstream and midstream. So we produce data um, that is used to prove um, our client's methane intensity. So how would we get that data like into this trace carbon project? No, that's a great question, Mark. And so, and so here, if you look at this graph here, you know, what you guys are doing, a lot of the work you guys are doing right now is at the, uh, at the well pad, at the exploration production step. And so because trace carbon at its core is built on a RESTful API, we would be able just to, to gather that data either straight in uh, from your monitoring or uh, in many cases, you don't want to bog the blockchain down with data every second. And so we could take it from, from your system and then just import it directly, like on a summary basis, like maybe every 12 hours, you wanna collect that data. And the nice thing about that is, is we would bring all of the important provenance data with it at that one hour. You know, it was on this exact site, it was collected between this time and this time. And then that data becomes part of this immutable blockchain record. So it makes a very seamless connection and then that one bad actor, you know, I think we've, we, we've talked about this before. If you talk to anybody, you know, uh, methane is, is one of the key uh, areas that, that these guys are focusing on. And so now we have a very strong methane data. So not only do we have all the provenance provided by Clean Connect, we now put it in an immutable record and it's completely auditable by a third party 
all the way back to the day and time of the source. And so you now have this ability now to talk about, yes, my missions were here, and now I can prove that they're here. And with methodologies that you guys have and the approvals, a regulator can do this from a desk now instead of having to actually go to the site because they have confidence not only in the source of the data, but the immutable and the single source of truth provided by the blockchain. Hmm. So if somebody wanted to <clears throat> find out more about block apps and how they might fit in the ecosystem, because I do believe you, you even have a spot where um, like partners like us could even, you know, add their own app on top of block apps. Absolutely. So block apps is a, is, is a, a platform. It's a network. And so what we do is we kind of help harmonize the data. And then we love to have partners like clean connect. We're working with a, uh, a division of uh, oxy low carbon ventures as well as some others where they take and they do some specialized apps that leverage the data you have on trace carbon and give you that extra bit of information or do that extra reporting or whatever it might be out there. Yep. And, and I think you also um, talked about, because look at these three things on the bottom here, uh, financing, so that let's say ESG investors, regulatory reporting, so, you know, state, um, you know, federal level, like EPA, whatever. And that other one, the customer and partner reporting, where you're saying, hey, you got these carbon uh, fees or this, you know, emissions monitoring, but now you want to divide it up against partners that are on a site. So maybe like the, the whoever owns the mineral rights plus the operator, like tell me about how that, how you would divide up those carbon fees and offsets. So again, that's the beauty of, of the blockchain technology is that you're able to establish these rules, these smart contracts. And so these smart contracts can mimic the actual uh, contract structure of the actual well pad site. And so based on the greenhouse gas protocols, you follow that same math. And so this can happen automatically kind of at the bottom of the tech stack and assign the carbon credits to the different folks and based on kind of their percentage of ownership and involvement in the, in the well site. Excellent. Hey, so John, how would someone get a hold of you? Best way to get a hold of me is via email. That's uh, chapel, C-H-A-P-P-E-L-L -L, at blockapps.net or just visit our website blockapps.net. All right. Hey, John, thank you so much for being here with Digital Roughnecks. You bet. Thanks for having me.